Hi, hi, hi. If you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Marv here in the flesh. Welcome back to the show. This is going to be your January 2019 Mid Month Love Reading Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's a lot that I need to say to you. Um, a lot that we need to discuss might not be comfortable, okay? Um, but I know that an Aquarius out there will listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Um, I'm kind of going to be cheating a little bit because I'm going to be giving you guys your divine energy oracle message. Because when I was tapping into your energy and got your messages from this new oracle deck that I'm introducing you guys to for love... These messages kind of, it, it, it all has something to do with this particular message, which is your main energy, and it's the love who you are. Um, brand new year, brand new energy, brand new background. We're going to be doing a brand new deck here, the, the Good Tarot. We're going to be, I am introducing you to a brand new Oracle deck for love, which is the Whispers of Love Oracle. We're giving the Romance Angel Oracle deck a break, and I did this as if you can see that it's over here. Okay, so tapping into your energy today and trying to figure out what was going on. Like I said, your main message is to love who you are. You are divine, you are delightful, and you are deserving. The triple threes, and that is going to be the name of this. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things that life has to offer, Aquarius. Or give yourself an opportunity to express that, uh, to experience that. I don't know what these are going to show us. Um, however, I do see that, um, uh, when I was tapping in, it stopped on the eight of the eight of air, which is the eight of swords in this particular deck, the eight of swords, which is the eight of air in this deck. And, um, there's some fear here. We're going to get to the bottom of that. Um, really quickly, happy MLK day. The MLK special is completely booked. Okay. Um, I will be reaching out to you when your appointment starts right after my last video. Aquarius, you are my second to the last video. I did do this in order. So thank you guys for your overwhelming support in the comments. And everybody got good numbers. So I just decided to go in order, just like uh, Western astrology tells me to, because that is what I follow here on The Marvelous Show. Now, I want to let you know that it's going to be your mid-month. Okay, so your... Um, top of the month love reading is now going to be included in your how does Bay feel about you. Okay. And I think I'm going to be separating those and I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. But right now we do pull energy in that energy to find out, in your partner's energy or whoever you're connecting with to find out how you feel about how they feel. That's going to be considered your top of the month love because that is a love reading. That's all I offer now. Okay. So. Um, this is going to be considered your mid-month. So this is your mid-month love energy reading. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get the energies out first and then tell you about all of the other stuff. Um, normally, I've been pulling these and then we go right into the uh, Whispers of Love Oracle. But when I tapped in, Spirit gave me all of your messages. So we have a little bit of extra time because I do want to talk about your divine energy oracle message and how that correlates with this message today. Let's get started. Universe, whoa, universe spirit, thank you. And that's the two of air. See, there is always this tug of war with what you need to do. Um, and I did see again that eight of swords. So sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Aquarius spirit. Okay, too many right here. All right, so we have the messenger of fire. That's going to be some type of new passionate communication that's coming in to you. Okay. Which is a good thing. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is the ten of air. You are in your head way too much. And this is your burden. This is your stress. That's your divide. Divide is your stress. The divide in this particular... Um, there isn't a... A give and take of the energies. They're all very much mirroring. But the divide is your mental burden. And there's the page of water. And um, AKA the page of cups. The divide is definitely the ten of air here. All right. Transformations. I love it. Major Arcana. And I believe this is the equivalent of the tower. This could be death. I'm going to figure it out. Transformations. That could be the death card. Not the tower. But transformations. Your bottom. The seven of earth. And or seven of pentacles. 
the three of water, the three of fire, choices. All right. Um, the top of the energy is justice, also the world, although I'm not going there. Um, because we have enough, but I'm just letting you know. So the divide right now is your mental struggle. The divide right now is what to do. On one hand, you want to stay true to your passion. On the other hand, you want to stay true to your habits. That makes sense? One hand, I am very much so undecided on what do I do to move forward to what I'm passionate about. The divide is my stress and how I'm, I'm, I'm mentally blocked and mentally unable to really make a decision. And that's the divide, okay? And then on the other hand, do I accept this transformation and kind of stay, like, I feel like this is a fight. Like, the decision over here is the habit versus moving toward what I'm passionate about, stay or go. But then on the other hand, do I transform? Do I allow myself to take the leap of faith and transform? Um, this is also, um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio here. This is a, a, a love message. For some of you guys that are in a relationship, this is the same old energy as far as just, you know, amped up a bit. So, Aqua, you were accept the tower, accepting the tower. All right, that's what you were doing. So now you're going to have to accept your transformations. That's exactly what you're doing. So you're going through uh, this very transformative energy here. Let's go ahead and talk about the transformative energy first. Um, really, really quickly. Because there, like I say, there is a battle between what's in your head and what's in your heart. Okay. So the transformation that needs to happen. Hmm. You are being guided to do to change that's the transformation okay this is your outcome nothing remains the same i need to accept that life evolves through cycles aquarius of birth death and rebirth now is the time of a transition as things are changing from one form to another i need to allow this to happen for my greatest good I am called to let go the old so I can welcome the new. You need to let go the old so you can usher in the new. As I stated, this is accepting. I told you that. Um, this is allow things to happen. So you had accept the tower and I'm going to call this um, allow the transformation. All right. We got that out the way, huh? Okay, so your messages still revolves around accepting not only this transformation, but accepting and loving on yourself too. So before we get into that, I'm going to link this video below, but I just want to let you know what your message was for the month of January, and it was to refine your attention. What does that mean to refine your attention? Your divine focus or your divine invitation, Aquarius, is to check your focus and your attitude. Focus on what you want for at least three to five minutes each day. Ideally, Aquarius, first thing in the morning and the last thing at night. Then take at least action. Take at least one of those actions today to support your focus. Okay? Thinking is not enough. It's time to do something. Change. Okay? Thinking is not enough. It's time to strike out and do something. So, that whole message will be at the bottom. I did talk about that. That is your January Divine Energy Oracle message that can be linked below. That's on IGTV. Let's rock. So, you are planting the seeds, but you invested in something. The Seven of Pentacles talks about your investment and you've been waiting for your ships to come in since uh, Central Park was a plant a long time. And I think that this is the mental strife, this investment here. Yeah. And there is a need to get back to celebrations and get back to things that make you happy with this Three of Cups.
this is you planning with the three of wands, looking out on the horizon and trying to really plan and get out of your head and take action. As I stated in that message, you got the three of water. You got this is choices. The two threes here. This is, again, action over your heart. This, there's an investment here. There's been some type of blood, sweat, and tears that has been invested in, the, in, in a situation. You're being guided to let it go and allow the change to happen. Okay, let's sit those to the side for a second and talk about your messages. Again, your main message here was to love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Didn't I say I was going to name it that? There's so many things I want to name this because it's such beautiful energy. Let's talk about how you need to love who you are. Things will begin when you love who you are. Yes. What is the name of that song by Groove Theory? Keep trying. Believe in you and it will take you higher. Hey. Emile LaRue, I love her. I can't do her voice, but I love her. All right, Aqua. Love who you are, darlings. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are. And the energy of self-love will help you realize your dreams. One more time. Aqua, be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are. And the energy of self-love will help you realize your dreams. How you manage your self-worth is crucial to how you view the world and the place. Wait. How you manage your self-worth is crucial to how you view the world and your place in it. And the way you've been uh, uh, viewing the world is not good. And it's be been because of all of the things and, and all of the um, all of the struggle and strife that you've endured. It has mentally affected you. Absolutely. It has altered the way that you think. You're being guided to consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Now, there's a certain part of what makes an Aquarius an Aquarius that is a little... They, they, they give you a bad rap and call you guys emotionally detached, don't they? Yeah, they do. Well, you're being guided right now to consider your foundation. Love means committing without guarantees. What? Love means committing without guarantees. In love, we give ourselves completely and hope that it will be lasting. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know that your life will be better for it. Strong relationships can love from wait, strong relationships and love can come from friendship. For lasting love, support those you treasure. And be a genuine friend, Aquarius, so your relationships are based on affection, common values, and shared respect. Take things slow. Release any fear that you have about love. Release it, okay? this releasing of the fear in this considering your foundation in this loving who you are you're being guided again to be authentic you get you get the thing do you get the thing ah oh, i can't see do you get this thing you're being guided to consider the foundation love who you are and be authentic Authenticity is an important is important in all relationships. Sometimes it might seem easier to stifle your feelings and do something you normally wouldn't do. Be candid and truly accept who you are. Accept others for who they are and don't feel the need to change yourself for anyone. And that's what you've done. And when you've done that, that wasn't something that someone asked you to do that's something that you did you sacrificed everything that makes you who you are for something and then you did not get that return on the investment with this seven of pence you didn't get it and now 
there's a certain level of innocence too because you never really experienced it. So you're still walking around as this lost little girl, this lost little boy, because you poured so much of you into something that you don't know who you are. Okay? You're being guided to be authentic to you. And I think that's going to be completely walking away from a situation that no longer serves you and going to find your passion. Okay. Um, I'm going to read that messenger of fire too. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to ask for support. You don't want to do that. You're afraid you're going to be judged. You're holding back. You're being guided that it's okay to ask for help. Okay. Okay. Ask for help. There's so much support available to you, Aqua. So much support. You only need to ask for help and you will receive it. Let go of fear and pride that as they do not benefit you nor give you desire. Perhaps you feel inundated by challenge. Take a minute to think about what you need support with. Evaluating your feelings will help enable you to effectively communicate what you want. Asking for help may seem scary and you may feel vulnerable, but there are still plenty of people who are there for you and it's not demeaning to ask for help. Go ahead and do that. There is one additional message that I want to talk about and that's this message of fire. This is your creativity. This is your passion. This is the things that make you happy. This is who you really are. And you don't really know who that is, so you're afraid to pursue it. Because I feel like this is you in this picture. Maybe little girl, little boy lost. Still looking for the start of the love that was never had. Okay. Determination for a new adventure, innovation, independent, creative action, spirited and headstrong. This is everything that sounds like a beautiful, well-balanced Aquarian to me. I know this is fire energy, but this is what you're being guided to do. You're being guided to transform into that Aquarius that you are. Bust out. It's time for you to be a butterfly. Let's talk about these messages. I am an unstoppable spirit. And can co-create all that I desire. Repeat after me, Aquarius. Surrounded by spirit illuminated and wisdom that rises up within me, I set forth on the path to innovate. I trust in my vision and act accordingly, remaining true to what I want, to what I most value and desire, which can manifest in many forms. That is what spirit is telling you. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be ashamed. Now I'm going to read this page of water because I, I'm on a roll here. I'm on a roll. That is what you're being guided to do. Then I say childlike. Open heartedness. Childlike innocence and curiosity, the beginning of intimacy and in relationships, playfulness, or cheerful optimism. We know what the page means, but I like the way they break it down. Let's go. Aqua, I open my heart fully, allowing myself to feel childlike wonder and innocence. All adventures lead me where I need to go and love awaits exclamation point. Life is a delighted dance and I am here to frolic and play. I am ready with a big smile and I have on my dancing shoes, honey. That is what it's time to do. It's time to accept this transformation and take your life back. You can't get no better than this. Your energy is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. But you're going to have to start right here, square one, loving on you again. And if you didn't start, then this is where you need to start. Loving on you. Loving on you. 
I feel like I need to end this with an affirmation. <sighs> this is just good energy. We'll go back though. We'll go back to, to refine your attention. I'm going to go back to this and, and um, let you know what you need to do. So again, check your focus and your attitude. Don't take that the wrong way. Focus on what you want at least three to five minutes a day. Ideally, first thing in the morning and the last thing at night, Aqua. Take at least one action to support your focus. That's going to start the transformation. Take at least one action to support your focus. Thinking is not enough, Aqua. The ten of air and your stress and completely being like murdered mentally is just not enough. That stagnant energy. It's not enough anymore. It's time to do something. I talk about this card in, in depth, okay? Um, if you don't want to click the link, I also shared it on Facebook. Um, I love this. I love it. The messenger of fire, your passion. The universe is nudging you to do this, okay? And it's okay to be these little girls again. It's okay to be these children again. You have to start from scratch, getting back to what makes you happy, Aquarius. I'm going to go and close us out with loving who you are once again because I did not read it all. It's so beautiful. I need to go back there, guys. I certainly hope that this resonates with you. Okay. Again, I told you how you manage your self-worth is crucial to how you view the world and your place in it. Love begins and ends with you. How you treat and feel yourself is of paramount importance. Love is contagious. When you are surrounded by people who are full of love, you may find it easier to love who you are. Look at that. A maiden extends from the bow of a ship into the heavens. A ship on a rough ocean could mirror the need to amp up your practical self-love. As you extend your focus to higher possibilities, the waters of your emotions will come and, and listen. The waters of your emotions will come and the journey of your life will be more aligned with what you dream about. That's the reason why that says refine your attention. Focus on this. Listen to me. This is what it is saying. Love ends and begins with you. Okay? How you manage your self-worth is crucial to how you view the world and your place in it. If that is not the line of the century, oh my God, okay? This is what we need to get back to. And this is what we need to accept. Aqua, this is beautiful. Go and watch your divine energy oracle message for 2019 of January. I'm going to do one of these each month for each one of the signs. And I'm going to link them in your videos. I want you to go and watch these messages. Your energy before I even know what your love is and how, your, your, how this is going to go. These are messages that coincide. It's interesting that the way that they're melding in. I know for a darn fact, Scorpio's message definitely goes with their love reading. Absolutely. So this is what I want you guys to do. And Aqua, that has been your message. I certainly hope that resonated. Um, this is beautiful. Make the choice. Don't choose either one of these. Choose them both. Choose your happiness and choose your passion. Get out of that two of swords. Choose them both. But love who you are. Divine, delightful, and deserving. That is your message. That has been what it is, Aqua. 
I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you. Hope you continue to do the work. All we have is Pisces left. Please let me know how this resonated with you. Please love who you are. It's so beautiful. Let me know. Drop it like it's hot down in those comments below. You already know how to reach me if you want a personal reading. It's all down in there, okay? I do have a Valentine's Day special. If you want to book me, go ahead and drop it like it's hot. Let me know. You want to email me your testimonies? Do that. You want to send me your voice records? You want to send me pictures? You can send it all to me, readings at MarvelousMadam.com. Um, I'm also available at BeMarvelous at MarvelousMadam.com. That is just the main one. But if it pertains to a reading or anything you want to send me, um, as far as, you know, testimonials, you know, people just send me emails and say, hey, Marv, hey Marv how you doing? Do that. Readings at MarvelousMadam.com. Aqua, I will see you back here in about five days. We're going to close you out. Um, I'm liking your transformative energy. I love it. Um, but I, I told you to accept the tower. I'm telling you to accept the transformation. And we're going to call this divine, delightful, and deserving of beautiful things. Um, I might meld in or put transformation in that because I just love that word. And it's so positive. And words are curses. And that's one I'm putting on you. Accept your transformation. You deserve it, okay? Beautiful, beautiful things. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Um, and I'm out of here. I got to go. Bye, Aqua.